Boss Collectors and welcome to another Bosque Bounty video and in this video we're going to be doing a quick overview taking a quick look at the new figures from the most recent wave of the vintage collection. We've got two from the Book of Boba Fett and two from the Return of the Jedi. Many of you watching this right now are probably wondering where I managed to get these from so early. Well here in the UK we have a website called In Demand Toys or a company should I say online retailer and often they manage to get import stock. So if we look at the back of the Cad Bane, you'll see the import sticker there. That's the Hong Kong sticker. That means they got these on import. So we managed to get them early. We're very lucky and they arrived in the post this morning. Also, hopefully if you're watching this video right now, you've already seen the review for Cad Bane because I wanted to get that video up first because for me, that's the most exciting figure out of the out of the wave purely because I already have the Boba Fett Tuscan because he was packed in with the Slave One. I already have a Neen Num, he's like a reissue. And the Moff Jajerod is basically Admiral Piet with a different head, basically. So the most exciting figure for me was always going to be Cad Bane in this wave. Now, if you are interested in ordering this wave for yourselves, they are on pre-order at Entertainment Earth in the US. So if you're in the US, there is a link in the description below. Ordering anything through that um, helps the channel. I get a very small kickback from them. And also to help you guys out, if you do order anything that's in stock on Entertainment Earth and use the code BOSK at checkout, then you'll get 10% off your order, which is pretty good. And there is some of the new figures for the vintage collection available in stock on that site. Not this wave just yet. You do have to pre-order this wave. Um, but let's just take a quick look at them uh, in this video now. So there's Cad Bane. Really, really good image of Cad Bane there on the Book of Boba Fett card. Got quite a few of these now for the Book of Boba Fett. They're coming thick and fast and he looks awesome. I'm not going to spend too much time on this guy because, as I say, hopefully you've already seen the review already, but stellar card back that one and the figure looks great. So next up, we've got another one from the Book of Boba Fett. As I mentioned, we have had this figure before. He was packed in with the Slave One. Uh, Boba Fett Tuscan they've gone for on there. Really, really good image of him there. And I will be reviewing this Boba Fett, even though I have already reviewed him as part of my review of the Slave One, uh, because I think it'll be interesting to see if there's any sort of subtle differences between this one and the one that was packed in to the Slave One. Um, but take my word for it. This is one of the best TVC figures going. It, really, really good figure, this one. Um, I was very, very impressed with it when I reviewed that Slave One. Um, if you're interested in the VC numbers, sorry, they're all on my website on the checklist, these. So VC285, that's your Boba Fett. I think that's the one that we were sort of waiting to hear about. Uh, 283 is Cad Bane. So then next up, we have Moff Jajerod. And I'm loving the fact that we're getting all these officers here from the original trilogy. Really good image of him there. And um, his cap looks like it's falling off his head ever so slightly in the bubble there, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to be opening up this one anyway. And this one is going to go so well with the Admiral Piet that we have. And there he is in the bubble. Comes with that blaster, just like Admiral Piet, even though he doesn't have a holster. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about getting extra accessories. It's good to have that in there. And he is VC 284 in the line. And just looking at the back there, we've got the Jabba's Goons wave and then and then this wave here. So, yeah, really, really happy to have this one because, as I said, we've got Admiral Piet and I really do hope that they do more of the officers. Uh, I do like the Imperial officers. You can make some really good dioramas and stuff with them. So I'm happy if they do more of those. And finally, we have Ni Num. Um, really, really good image, this one. This is one of the original 96 cards from the original Kenner line. Exact replica, pretty much. And there he is in the bubble. Now, um, I'm looking forward to reviewing this figure. I know some people have always had complaints with that he's too short and things like that. But we'll take a look. And I will also compare him against the original version that came out in, what, 2011, 2012. Right at the end of the vintage collection, because he should retain his number. VC 106, he does indeed, he retains his number. So as I say, this is just a repack uh, or refresh, but it does have the 40th anniversary logo in the corner there. So if you're into variants on the thicker card stock, then, um, you know, this is one to get as well. So there you go then, guys. That is a just a quick overview of the latest wave of Vintage Collection. If you do happen to enjoy the video, 
please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I was looking at my analytics again the other day and still 45% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, which I find amazing really, considering it's quite a niche subject that we all talk about here. So if you are watching the video and you do have a Google or YouTube account, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's see if we can push those numbers up. But I want to thank everyone for watching anyway and be sure to check out the reviews. If you haven't seen the review of Cad Bane already, check that video out. And the rest of the reviews of the rest of the figures will be on the channel over the next few days. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members as always. Thank you so much for the extra support and thank you all for watching and we shall see you on the next one.